Hi, church family. Here's some hope for Monday. So C.S. Lewis once said that you have never met a mere mortal. Uh, where did that come from? Well, I think it had something to do with what the Apostle Paul was saying in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, when he says in verse 3, Do you not know that we are to judge angels? Think about that for a minute. That is our destiny in Christ, that in the new heavens, in the new earth, that the renewal of all things, when Christ comes to uh, eradicate this world of evil and sin, uh, God's people will sit with him in judgment. And it's, it's a thing of beauty and glory as we will help adjudicate the heavenly angels, the angelic creatures. We will judge angels. That's what Paul says our destiny is. And of course, his point in chapter 6, verses 1 through 11 is, if you're qualified to do that in Christ, you should be able to adjudicate the trivial cases, as he puts it, in your culture uh, there and then and here and now. So don't be running off to the secular courts uh, for uh, that which you are qualified to uh, adjudicate and to settle. Uh, God's people are to be peacemakers, and peacemakers who sow in peace uh, raise a harvest of righteousness. Blessed are the peacemakers, Jesus said, for uh, they shall be called sons and daughters of God. So we look like God most when we are peacemakers in God's name. And that's what Paul is trying to teach us today. I want you to live like who you're called to be. God has called you. He uh, has brought you out of a past from which you could not extricate yourself. And he has plopped you into his kingdom. And part of that is a role of leadership and it's a role of uh, sharing the wisdom that his spirit gives you for the benefit of others. Think about that today. God has given you what you need for the relationships and decisions and conversations that you're going to be having that you don't even know about. But they're going to come your way. And he's equipped you to deal with that. Heavenly Father, thank you for providing. Thank you for your provision your mercies are new every morning. And I pray, Lord, that as we have conversations and meetings and dialogues, that um, we would know that you're with us and we draw upon your wisdom uh, for your glory, for the good of others. And the church said, amen.